Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be looking at this BS4 power supply. This power supply came out of this PlayStation 4. So we will together try and fix this power supply. The PlayStation is not turning on at all. I tried and measured the voltages at this connector here and we don't have any voltage there so let's take it apart okay so the power supply is disassembled as you can see it has a lot of dust we need to clean all of this okay so the first thing we need to do is to check the voltage at the main input capacitor which is over there its bins uh, are uh, somewhere here let me take it off look how much dust on this power supply okay so the main capacitor is this one the main input capacitor let's check the voltage at this capacitor and see if it does hold any voltage So we have zero volts. Nothing at all. Let's check this fuse. Let me take this dust from here. Let's go to continuity mode. So the fuse is open circuit so it's blown so that there might be something wrong in the input circuit or the primary circuit I mean which may cause that fuse to blow so let's check the bridge rectifier which is this this part here so let's go to diode mode So we have four bins of this bridge rectifier, these bins. So there is a cut in one side which is the positive side and this is the negative side of the bridge rectifier, the negative and it's written there in the board. And this side is the positive, I, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, let's check. At the positive side, I will put my negative lead at the positive side and check the two. And check the two AC side, AC bins. As you can see, here we have short circuit. The other one is good, reading 0.4. And to the other uh, negative side is good. Now I will leave the positive side at the the positive lead. I mean at the negative of the bridge rectifier, and check with the negative lead the AC side of this bridge rectifier. Here is good. There is good, and there is good. We only have one problem, which is the positive side to one 
bin of the we have only one short from this pin which is the positive side to this pin okay so I don't know why it's not focusing today okay we need to take that bridge rectifier out because the rectifier itself might be faulty or there might be something else in the board is faulty okay so let's take the bridge rectifier out I will use low melt solder projectifier is out let me clean the board a little bit let's check the projectifier now so as I said we have a cut on this side which means the positive side of the DC side of this bridge rectifier and also is written there we have plus and we have minus okay so let me check again I will put the negative lead to the positive side of this bridge rectifier and we have a short circuit we have short hit circuit from here to there from the positive side to the first one of the AC side we have a short this one is good this one is good from here there to there is good from there to here is good so we only have we only have one diode there is shorted so this one contains four diodes in bridge mode that forms a rectifier full wave rectifier and we have only one diode which is connected from the positive side of this rectifier to this lead to this pin of the AC side and is shorted so we need to change this this rectifier let's check if we still have short at the board at the DC side we don't have a short and at the input side which is the AC side we have no short so it might be good let me let me check these transistors if they are shorted okay, so we have one here and this one is good this is a diode the diode is good let's check this one over here and this one is also good so we might only have that bridge rectifier is faulty and the fuse the fuse got blown because of the rectifier what I will do is I will change the bridge rectifier and the fuse but I will try it with a limited current so I will use a series lamp to turn it on okay let me first clean everything here and I will replace the fuse and this rectifier okay so I have cleaned the board and the enclosure so let's replace now this bridge rectifier and the fuse so the bridge rectifier I will take it from this power supply because I don't have a new one so this one is uh, 608 which means it, it's uh, 6 amps 800 volts this one is uh, 808 that means it's 8 amps 800 volts so it should be a better one so let's take it out so 
so it's out let me clean the bins a little bit Okay, let's test it before we install it. So we still in diode mode. So this side is the positive side. We will put the negative lead on it. And we will test the AC side. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and here is 0 0.8, which is okay. And then the positive lead to the negative side. And 0 0.4, and 0 0.4, so it's good. So we can install this one. We still need to change the fuse, which is located here. So let's take it out. The fuse should be 4 amps, 250 volts, let me bring one, so here is another fuse, let's install it. Okay, so the projectifier is now uh, replaced and the fuse, we should now be able to test it. Let's connect the power lead and I will use a series lamp to limit the, the current. Okay. Okay, so the power lead is now connected and it's connected here and here is the current limiting lamp so let's try it it's flashed a little bit so which is a good good sign let's now uh, check the voltage so we have ground and 5 volt standby so I think I need to flip this power supply over. Okay, so let's check now. So here is the standby 5 volt, I think, and there is the ground. We have 4.7 volts, which is good. Here we have 0, and there we have 4.7 volts. And now I think it's working. Let's put it back all together, and I will put it to the PlayStation, and we will test it. Okay. Okay, so let's try it now and hope everything goes as expected. I will connect HDMI to see if it does work properly. <coughs> Now I will connect the power lead without the current limiting lamp. <coughs> it's on. 
let's try and turn it on but first let me bring the microscope view okay so here is the microscope view as you can see let's try and now turn on this playstation and yes it does work actually let me go to the HDMI 3 It reads restarting. And yes, we do have a picture. And as you can see, it is working. So we managed to fix the power supply by just replacing the bridge rectifier and the fuse. And now it's all done. Thank you for watching. And I hope I can see you in another video. Thank you so much.